the steamroller and the diesel. After the incident with Henry and Ferdinand, the Fat Controller had wanted to send Diesel D199 back to the mainland. But because Diesel D199 was being lent for a week, he had to wait a whole week till he could send him back. So he had been assigned some local goods work. Can't believe I've been assigned dumb goods work. But one day in this week, Diesel D199 had a very unexpected encounter. The next day, George was on his way to a construction site to make a new road. Oh, dang it, have to wait. Who on earth could this be? Hey, hey, you stop, British dude. Yes? Don't you know that you should let road vehicles go first because we are more important than you? I mean, we're more important than you. Hey, don't you roll around at me. Yeah, yeah, Grumpy, I don't care. Grumpy? Who's calling me Grumpy? That night, after George had done his work, he headed to the bus shed. So, what do you think? Do you think I should get back at Diesel D199? Well, to be honest, I don't know. I think you should just ignore it. It was just someone saying you're Grumpy. What? It wasn't just someone calling me Grumpy. Calling me Grumpy was a violation. What? How is it a violation? And I shall get my revenge on Manny. I thought you said his name was Diesel D199. Eh, the fat controller goes near my workplace and rants about him to his wife. Oh, that does make sense. Anyway, I'll best be going. Boy, you know. The next morning, Diesel D199 was waiting in the shunting yards for the fat controller. Ah, good morning, Manny. Good morning, sir. Now today, I would like you to take a passenger train. Wait a second, did you just say a p -p -p passenger train? All right, there you coaches. Oh, thank you, sir. You will not regret it. I better not. <laughs> and I'm off. Meanwhile, George was planning his revenge. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm gonna need 20 quid. What? Hey, this bad boy's from the dark shunning yards. Oh, fine. Driver, give him some. Thank you. Now all I have to do is wait for money. What the heck? Hey, have you guys noticed something at the crossing? Yeah, George has revenge eyes. I should know because I've had those a lot. What? Um, but the point is he's trying to get revenge on someone. Mm. Mm. Wait a second. Diesel D199 is going along the line which has the tanker on it. I gotta go warn him. No! Fine. Mm. Yes, he's coming. Finally. Wait a second, what is he pulling? <gasps> it's a passenger train. Oh no, driver, we gotta push it. <laughs> George was pushing with all his might. <sighs> but it wasn't working. George, I best go and tell the signalman to change the point. No, this is my fault. I'm gonna solve it. <laughs> I'm just aiming a long dear but <laughs> Nothing bad can ever happen to me. <coughs> Zippity doo da, zippity day. Come on! Twinkle, twinkle, little. Wait, why on earth am I saying that? Nah, it doesn't matter. <coughs> Oi! Huh? 
You're holding me up. Oh, uh, just give me a second, buddy. And nothing back. And wait, what the heck is that? Ha uh, ha, yes. George, get out of the way. How on earth did he know my name? It's written on you. Oh, yeah. Ah! Oh, my God. Oh, oh, Bowie, now what am I going to do? Oh, what the heck happened? You saved my passengers. And I'm very proud of you. Well, I mean, I was the one who put the tanker there. What? Uh, Edward, leg it! You got it! You'll never take me alive! Oh, this is my life every day. A few day. days later. Well, Manny, I'm sorry to say, but your week has come to an end. I would keep you here, but um, I already did say that I would be sending you back. I understand, sir. Hopefully, I will see you one day again. Yes, I do too. Well, Diesel B199, it's bad news. Our owners died. Well, this is great. What are we going to do now? I don't know. Oh, I might have a solution. Huh? Who said that? Wait a second. It's you!